turn into somebody. I don't know how I quit by mistake. I wanted to be Artemis. What's so funny? That's gonna get in if nobody hits it. She's gonna get assists off of the Artemis like the whole game. Jeez, man, she's good. Ouch. What am I supposed to do? Watch that. They're gonna chase that. Your future looks I was mashing the button. One can never have too many levels. It didn't come out. I feel like once you lock in a god, you shouldn't have to... You shouldn't switch again. I feel like. Because it's too... It's too annoying. It's like you have to do so much planning. I don't think it's going to work. Like, that's only going to work in Conquest or something where you have to find. Doesn't work in Arena. What is that? Bye. This team seems to be better than the last one. <laughs> Just saying. The honest has hit his ult like three times now. Perfectly. And he hit a double off of that, so... If I could just be with this team the whole day. I'm one and one. And eleven. So that shows you, uh... She does have potential to kill, though. Definitely. If I pull off the ult, that's kind of where those, all the kills come from. Shut down. Retreat. No reason to push that hard, guys. Your I'm running away. As long as the rat doesn't come after me, I don't think I'm worried about this game at all. Game's doing really well. Uh, where's the rod? Okay. And then we'll do Spear of the Mad Guy. Or we can do Desolation 1 or 2, it doesn't really matter which one. They both work fine on her. Um, 
God damn it. I couldn't I couldn't do it. I'm gonna need physical protection just in case that happens again. See, that's kind of what I do. Like, you learn what's happening in the game. Like, whatever killed you, maybe that's the thing you should, like, protect against. That Tekken? Sort of. See, the thing is, I am a fan of Tekken. The problem is, they've been hyping Tekken 7 for so damn long, it's not even hype anymore. Like, that's a big problem in gaming. When you hype something for so long, people really get hyped. Alright, is it out yet? Like, what's happening? Especially because they've already had tournaments. We've already seen the game. It's not like not anything new. I'm sure there's things we haven't seen, obviously, but... It's just, I don't know. I'm more hyped for Injustice than anything else. Retreat, group up. Injustice 2 is gonna be possibly a game of the year contender, legitimately. I think uh, it's gonna be better than MKX because they've learned from the mistakes in that game, and that game was fantastic. And Nether Realms has not made a bad game in six years, so. I'm just saying, like, MKX is, was not bad, it just had, uh, bad netcode, and then they fixed it. They fixed it a little bit late, but the GDPO is coming to Injustice 2 Day 1, so that's not an issue anymore. I'm gonna alt here. Fucking god damn it. I don't know why you would contest an Artemis, especially when she has crit. Glorious tools of war. How can they all stand to connect if they can't? What? Um, this is, this is what fighting games do. <laughs> if you're kind of new to the community, or if you're unaware, fighting games always come out in the spring. Because they don't want to contest with the big shooters and the holiday rush of video games. This is this is not uh, this is not a big deal. The big deal is that we're getting really good fighting games all at the same time, which is very rare. Because it's usually like one's good and the other's kind of King of Fighters. It's fun, but it's not like a good game. It's fun. I'll give it that. Street Fighter Pod can be fun, but it's not like a good game. I think fighting games, they're either fun, really good, or really bad. There's like nothing in between. Like the, the differences are so wide apart. Like the, the biggest ones, obviously, Street Fighter. And then I would say MK is right behind that, and then Tekken is third. Like, in in the scale of fighting games. And then, uh, the next thing after that would be Soul Calibur, but I don't think we're getting a new Soul Calibur anytime soon, so... <laughs> oh! Did you see that play? Did you see that play? Oh baby! Oh baby! I'm sorry. Where does KI fall? Really low. KI has the biggest problem you can have on a fighting game, which is it's console exclusive. And that's really bad for fighting games. Because it's, they're already niche, and I understand that. I think the FGC understands that. Not everybody loves fighting games, unfortunately. And I think they're one of the best genres out there because they each have something similar but do something different. Like once you play one shooter, right, you're kind of you kind of know how to play a shooter. You know, like if you play Call of Duty all your life, you could go into Battlefield 
and even though there's big differences, you kind of like, there's some certain basics that are there, and you understand, and you can learn the differences between the games and get into it. Like, you could get into Battlefield and be like, this is different, and it's bigger, and it's more wide open and objective based, and Call of Duty is more like single player based, smaller maps. And there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with the differences. It's kind of the way, like, Street Fighter is more about the neutral game and footsies and being smart. And MK is more about, like, knowing a matchup in 50-50s. And Injustice is going to be 